Hi, this is Jamie McDonald at Raven Beak Nature Works with a shop update for February 23rd. Uh, we've been busy in the shop for the last couple weeks, and we have seven bows here all finished up and heading out. I just want to take a minute to show everyone out there what we've been working on. Uh, we have six long bows and one flat bow in this batch. So first of all, we have a bow named Sherwood, 47 pounds, 28 inches, uh, buffalo horn caps, buffalo arrow rest, and a black stone inlay with a dark red handle wrap on it. And this bow was interesting. We did a white silk backing um, on the outside of the sapwood. And when it's all cleaned up and sanded, it's barely noticeable at all. And we just did that as a, an extra durability layer. So, yeah, beautiful bow, great color. Heading out here. Uh, we have another long bow. This one's headed to Norway. 53 pounds at 29 inches. And the name is Bambar Skelfer, uh, which is in reference to a Norwegian archer, I believe, of great strength. So it's quite long, uh, again, horn caps, buffalo horn, uh, no arrow rest, black stone inlay. But yeah, very tight rings and just a beautiful piece of wood. Um, third, we have one Taxus Bacata, which is a bit of a play on words, considering we, this is Taxus Brevifolia. Um, but this is designed to represent the old English war bow. So no handle wrap. Um, shot off the hand. Um, this one pulls 48 pounds at 28 inches. Very sharp colors to this. Um, yeah, black horn tips. Just a lovely piece of wood. This one is named Egwene after a character in a series of books. Um, this one we did a Jenna did some beautiful Celtic knotwork burning on the belly of it, which turned out just lovely. Egwene pulls 53 pounds, 29 inches, uh, white tips. So we did a moose antler tip, a uh, black stone inlay, and a black handle wrap. A beautiful bow heading out. This is Jodro, 50 pounds at 30 inches, quite a long piece of wood, um, quite a bit of character to it. It was a relatively small diameter tree, um, so the back is very clean, but the belly does have several little pin knots in it. Black buffalo caps, black stone inlay, no handle wrap, it's a nice long longbow. So this one is named Torioni, uh, 58 pounds, 28 inches, um, and this is a bit of a, a bit of a play on the whole longbow theme. So it still bends through the handle, um, these cross section, um, simple tip overlay versus a horn cap, just to cut down on tip weight. And this one we did a a rawhide deerskin backing. So this is deerskin that we've harvested and scraped um, and it came out just beautiful not sure if you can see the modeled texture it comes out with but yeah just very sharp and then a nice handle wrap and a stone inlay beautiful little bow and the token flat bow of the group this has been a, a work in progress for a number of months now um, and i'm going to do another video on this bow specifically later on uh, but this one is named the Constant Companion. It's a sinew-backed recurve um, with diamond-backed rattlers, moose antler tips, an arrow rest, um, seal skin, or an arrow pass. Yeah, beautiful colors, beautiful tight, 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 tight rings in it. Um, again, Jenna did some beautiful burning on the belly. So it's Islamic calligraphy as this bow's headed to Kuwait. And the name, Constant Companion. Yeah, so beautiful little recurve here, which is all finished up and heading out shortly. So that's the group, seven bows in total. Um, yeah, they all turned out lovely and are heading out here in the next day or two. 
So, and on one side note, the other project I've been working on is I had about about 90 uh, U wood slats here that I just had a friend with the cabinet shop and we ran them through the thickness sander to just over 5 30 seconds of an inch. Um, so in the next little bit here I'm going to be playing around with glue ups and handle splices and bamboo backings and we're going to yeah, build some bows with those as well.